Hi, my name is Vineet, and I'm going to show you how to install Python support for your NI MioDAC device. Python's become extremely popular, and it's pretty simple to install the NI DocuMix package, which is the API to interact with the NI DocuMix driver software, which is used to control your DAC device. So let's jump in. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to the Read the Docs page for NI DocuMix. You could click on the link below this video, and that's a quick way to get to the page. But if you're watching this video on your phone or tablet, you can open up a, a web browser on your development machine and just search for Read the Docs NI DAC MX. So from here, you'll get to all of the documentation for installing and using the API. So from here, you can see the link to the GitHub page, which has a ton of documentation and examples. Or you can scroll down and look at all the installation instructions. Now, the quickest way to do it is to just use this pip install command. So I'm going to copy this. And since I already have Python installed on this computer, I can just go to the command prompt. And I can paste Python dash m space pip space install docmx. So this is now going to automatically go and download all of the support files and the API. And now that you have the API installed, the next step is to install the NI DACMX driver software. From here, you can actually call Python again, dash m. And now we can call a command within the package, NI DACMX, and then install driver. This is now going to go to the ni.com NI location and start to install the NI package installer. This installs NI Package Manager, which is what all our NI software is used to install on different computers. And then we're going to go and select the right components of DACMX to install here. So you can see the different, different options that are selected. We can just focus on the C API to make it go a little quicker. DACMX support for C is the key one that we want to include. Hit Next and accept the license agreement. And here's where it's going to install the actual hardware driver. And that's what's used to connect, in this case, over USB Type-C to the DAC hardware. Once that's installed, we can use the Python API on top of that, and we can program our application. All right, looks like it's all complete now. So we've installed the NIDACMX package, which is the Python API for the NIDACMX driver software. And now that you can see it says installing NIDACMX, reboot is needed to complete the operation. Makes sense. Reboot now. So now, while my computer's rebooting, let's go ahead and plug in the MioDAC device. I can reach over. It's USB Type-C, and it's all bus powered, so I don't need to use a different uh, power supply or anything. And just make some space here. I can come in and just plug it in right here. And then once the computer reboots, now it has the driver software, it'll recognize that device as a new USB Type-C device, and it'll install and be recognized as something I can then interact with with any kind of DAC application. So now we've rebooted the computer. We're all ready to go. I've gone back to the Read the Docs page. And from here, it's helpful to just click on GitHub. This is a great way to see examples and programs for starting to interact using Python. And so let's go ahead and this is where you'll see you know, 50 different examples for analog inputs and outputs and counter and digital. And it's all open source. And so we're continuing to add examples, and the community is contributing. And you're welcome to, to add some as well. Um, I'm going to show you a couple, uh, couple ways to see if everything installed correctly. One that I like is this, this system properties example. And this just checks that everything's there, and it checks the driver version. It also gives you the device name. So we're going to download that. And then another one that's a nice starting point is to go to the analog inputs and just go to the voltage acquisition internal clock example. And all this does is, based on, the, based on the device name, it goes and it sets a certain sampling rate, and then it returns those samples. So it's a pretty basic single shot voltage input example. And it's easy to build on. So let's go ahead and download that too. So now I'm going to switch to the command prompt in order to run those programs. Now you can use any, any IDE you prefer. Uh, but in this case, let's just go ahead and run them straight from the, from the command prompt. So I'm going to just go to the Downloads page, because that's where we just downloaded them to. And then from here, I can see, the, I can see the, the programs that we just downloaded. Let's go ahead and run Python space. And let's start with the System Properties one. 
And you can see it's, sure enough, it's detected that I have a, a 6421 DAC device installed over USB. And it also gives the device name, device name one. That's helpful because that's a really important reference for all of our software. Let's take some measurements. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to go to the voltage one that we just downloaded. And there we go. So now we've taken our first set of measurements using our DAC device. So that's how you use Python with NIMEO DAC.